I was really nervous, um, but excited. I was excited. I was feeling excited. I was excited to see uh, Mr. Coke and Chase. Um, they're kind of urban legends around here. They had all the camera crew set up and it was, it was a big deal event. I expected it to be very formal and kind of, I mean, my palms were sweating. Going in, you just want to be a sponge. They were just so open with the crowd and down to earth that it's something I was not expecting. You want to be happy. You want to be fulfilled. Where you work is a good part of your life. Do you want that to be pleasant or something you hate doing? Or something, I mean, people, you ask why I do. I can't find anything that's more fun than what I do. <laughs> yes. In, in helping people uh, reach their potential and, and, uh, and uh, open opportunities to them. That's a big, I think, lesson here is that you have to go through, you have to like experiment with a lot of different things to figure out who you are, yeah. what your gifts are, and what you what really you know lights your fire. Right, right. And I, I certainly no. went through that. If you are not continually uh, developing your capacity and striving to realize your potential, you will be deeply unhappy your entire life, even if you seem successful externally. It doesn't really matter what you know or where you come from, as long as you find what you love to do. Um, you can shoot for the moon, you can go wherever you want. And this is all self-actualization. One thing that Chase said that really stuck with me is he said, um, a lot of people nowadays are busy looking at their phones and they don't have people skills necessary uh, to succeed. I'm guilty of this as well, but um, you know, everyone's, they're not talking to people, they're talking to this, right? You know, and and not learning inter like how to interact with people yeah. because they're either texting or they're, they're, they're communicating through Facebook or Instagram or whatever. I think it's, uh, it's a huge problem. At the end of the day, people want to work with people. What I learned today is that business isn't just about making profit and creating a very business-minded network. It's about cultivating personal relationships. Take nothing from this talk whatsoever apply mutual benefit to everything that you do. Call it a soft skill or whatever. Um, it's about really understanding what somebody values. If I'm sitting here, I have a conversation like, what do you care about? That mutual benefit aspect is important to me because you know, I don't want to work for a company that is uh, shallow and you know, one-sided in how we, we operate. And it's only about us. Um, and that mutual benefit aspect is important. And if, if we're going to work a deal together, you don't want me sitting here just talking about talking about myself or whatever, and here's all the things I want to do. I, I need to get into your brain and understand um, what do you subjectively value the most? And then I can step back and then think about, okay, what capabilities do I have to help you? And that's how so many of our best deals have come from people. Wow, Coke started with how rather than come in, here's the way we'll do it, here's the way we can help you. What do you need? How can we structure our way of working together that creates the most value for you? So that's, that's, that's my advice on the approach because that's, that's what's made us successful. As an intern, it's amazing that we get to speak directly with the leaders of the company and have the opportunity to ask them questions, you know, to gain that knowledge directly from the sources, an opportunity that not many interns at other companies get to experience.